Over the next several weeks, I'm doing um, some conference keynotes, several customer tech talks, and some workshops with customers of, variety, of various sizes, of profits, nonprofits, large and small. And each of these conversations are centered around this sudden infatuation with chat GPT and AI and generative AI. And how, how do I think about these new capabilities, these new technologies, when I'm trying to figure out how do I get from data to value? That is, how, how do I get more, more, more value out of my data? And the problem with a lot of these conversations, which you're going to hear me in all of these, all these um, presentations and in the hands-on workshops, that if we want to go from data to value, starting with data and trying to navigate through, for example, tools like AI, right? Trying to navigate from data to tools and then to value, it's like that old Jason and the Argonauts movie with you know the stop action monsters and the skeletons and the and the other kind of creatures out there. Is that this this path from data using tools like AI and Chat GPT to value can meander all over the place. It's full of all kinds of monsters and unintended consequences and impediments and risks. So if our real objective as an organization is to create value for our stakeholders, if the intention of the organization is to create value, then why don't we start this conversation with value? Let's start by understanding how organizations create value. And a lot of times those value creation processes are called initiatives, right? And what we want to do is we want to take and understand what organization's business or operational initiatives are. And from that, we want to be able to decompose those initiatives into use cases. Things that they need to accomplish over a set period of time in order to deliver value. And then we need to understand as far as decompose those use cases into the decisions that our stakeholders need to make in support of the use cases that support our business initiatives that drive value. And then even going one step further is you want to define the KPIs and metrics against which the stakeholders are going to measure the effectiveness of their decisions to drive the optimize the use cases, et cetera, et cetera. And then finally, we're going to want to uncover insights about our key business entity. And entities can be things such as Students, customers, doctors, um, engineers, technicians, mechanics. It can be about things, though, too. It can be about generators, trains, tractors, cars, compressors, right? Chillers and, and other sorts of things. And we get those insights, by the way, by using these tools like AI and machine learning to uncover those predicted performance and behavioral propensities, those predicted performance and behavioral propensities at the level of each of the entities, use these tools to derive them out of our data. Now think about that path. Isn't that a lot easier than saying, I got some data, I got some tools, I'm trying to get value? Isn't it easier to say, well, here's how our organization creates value for our stakeholders. These are the business initiatives we have underway these are the use cases we have to put in place across our stakeholders that support that. By the way, understanding the decisions the stakeholders are trying to make in support of those use cases are a critical linkage point, their value creation point, because if I can optimize the decisions, I can optimize use cases, understand the KPIs and metrics against which I'm going to measure my decision's effectiveness, use tools like AI and machine learning to uncover these predictive behavior and performance insights about my key entities that are buried in my data. That's what I'm going to talk about. I got a whole bunch of process for how you do that and how you drive group of collaboration and alignment around this process, how you bring everybody, how you empower everybody to be a citizen of data science so they can participate in this process. Because the best ideas don't necessarily come from the data science team and they don't necessarily come from the senior executives in the organization. Sometimes the best ideas come from the front lines of the organization, the front lines of customer engagement and the front lines of operational execution. So this is the process I'm going to talk about. That's a little hint. And we're going to, I'm going to dive into a lot more detail 
about how you leverage data science concepts, how you leverage design thinking techniques, how you leverage economics for this process, all based around empowerment of the key people in your organization around the heart, by the way, of ethics. Anyway, hope to see some of you this week or the next couple of weeks. Um, if I'm speaking and when I'm done, please come up and say hi. Um, love to talk to you. Love to understand when I go through this process, what resonates and what doesn't. Where do you struggle? Because like I tell my students, when I explain something in class and you don't get it, that's not on you. That's on me. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for your time. Hopefully see you the next few weeks.